Am I the asshole for kicking my boyfriend and his friend out of my car in the middle of our road trip? Disclaimer, this is not my story. My boyfriend, 27 male, and I, 26 female, decided to go on a road trip like we do every year. This year, he said he doesn't want to ruin his new car and suggested we go in my car. He also requested to do the driving, but I told him it's my car, then I should drive it. He tried to make comments about how my driving is slow and inconsistent, but eventually dropped it and we went. He brought his friend with him and they both sat in the back. Once we got on the road, my boyfriend started making comments about my driving while asking me to let him drive instead. I ignored him and kept driving, but then him and his friend kept saying things like, OP, you're driving like a girl, wait, you are a girl. Then they would laugh and say, you're driving as bad as our old neighbor. I ignored them, but then they said, seriously, who taught you how to drive like that, and I hope the cops pull us over and end this misery. I couldn't take it anymore, and I began to lose my temper. Am I the asshole for kicking my boyfriend and his friend out of my car in the middle of a road trip? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I told them to stop and that if either of them make one more comment about my driving, that I kick them out. My boyfriend glanced at me, then got quiet for about five minutes, then said, All right, I think we should call 911 because your driving is causing me brain damage. I immediately stopped the car and told him I had enough and that he had to get out. He tried to argue, saying that I was overreacting and he was trying to teach me to drive better, but I told him to get out. His friend tried to defend him, but I told him to get out too. My boyfriend then said I was crazy because we were in the middle of nowhere, but there was a gas station nearby. I told them both to get out and put their bags on the side of the road, then drove off. I went home instead of continuing the trip and I cried all the way till I got there. Later, my boyfriend came back and he told me it was cruel to kick him and his friend out over a few comments. I said he mocked my driving the entire time and called it horrible. He said he was just being honest. Am I the asshole for going home after my fiancé told me to sit down and shut up? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I, 26 female, have been with my fiancé, 34 male, for two and a half years. We had a long-distance relationship mostly, but I moved in with him after the engagement. We agree on most things, but there's a few things he finds unlikable or, in his own words, unbearable, and one of them is me using public restrooms. He has expressed how disgusting public restrooms are and has been trying to convince me not to use them unless it's very urgent. But he would try to talk me out of using them even when it's urgent and tell me to hold it in. He's a lot like his mom and she has the same mindset. We went out to a restaurant to celebrate her birthday and after we finished eating, I tried to excuse myself to use the restroom. His mom looked at me jokingly and said, oh, don't worry about fixing your makeup, it's still fine. But I got up and politely said that I needed the restroom for another reason. My fiancé looked at me with an upset look and told me that we already talked about using public restrooms. Am I the asshole for going home after my fiancé told me to sit down and shut up? Disclaimer, this is not my story. He told me that we already talked about using public restrooms and how I should avoid them at any cost. I flat out told him that I need to pee. Apparently, I said it loud enough for others to hear, which made him feel embarrassed. He then told me to sit down and shut up. I felt so offended, I nearly cried because everyone heard and his family was looking at me. I collected my purse, phone, and keys and decided to go home. He freaked out, asking where I was going, and I said I was going home. He followed me, trying to get me to go back inside for the sake of the celebration, but I got in my car and drove off. He left about 10 missed phone calls. When he came back, he told me I spoiled the entire celebration for everyone. I told him he disrespected me and tried to deny me access to the restroom. He said I can't play the victim because he told me about the restroom thing and that it's my fault for embarrassing him and walking out. I refused to argue anymore, but he said that I can only blame myself for the situation. Am I the asshole for threatening to call the police on my mom and stepmom? Disclaimer, this is not my story. My 25 female parents divorced when I was 15 and my mother decided to move to another country. I didn't follow her because I already had a life here. She moved back two years ago with my stepmom and I visit my mom quite often. But ever since moving to Paris and marrying my stepmom, she has changed a lot. She's now hyper-minimalist and every time I visit her, she tries to force that life on me. She only owns five changes of clothes, two pairs of shoes, three plates, three spoons, and three cups. My stepmom was already like this and my mom found the lifestyle adorable and joined. My stepmom hates that I drive a car and that I have too many clothes. I was a victim of fraud and had my accounts left dry. I had to leave my apartment because I had no way of paying for it until I had saved enough again. So I asked my mom if I could stay with them. I said the max I could pay was 200 to 400 She invited me rent-free. 
Am I the asshole for threatening to call the police on my mom and stepmom? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I wasn't comfortable with this, so we made a deal that I was going to live there rent-free for four months, then I was going to move out. I've been here for four days, and yesterday when I came back from work, I found my room almost completely empty. I quickly ran to my mom and stepmom and asked what happened. My mom said that I had too much stuff and that's not how they live, so they left the essentials and donated the rest. My stepmom said that they did me a favor. I said they had no right and ran to my room panicking. My mom followed me, but I was so mad. She tried to talk to me. I went to my boyfriend's chat and hit the audio button and asked her to repeat what she had just said. I then said that I had a recording of her admitting she stole my things and gave it away with her wife and that if she didn't retrieve them in the following days or compensated me for it, I was going to call the police on them. My stepmom called me an asshole. They did retrieve most of my things, but most of my clothes are gone, so they said we could shop for them this weekend. My mom said my stepmom began doing it and she only joined. Am I the asshole for what I told my dad after I got tired with his stupid pranks? Disclaimer, this is not my story. My dad has been annoying the hell out of me with stupid stuff for years. He acts like a teenager. I, 18 male, swear sometimes that I'm more mature than him. My mom's yelled at him a few times too because he also does it to her. He really doesn't know how pranks work or when to stop. It used to be dumb annoying stuff like giant fake spiders, roaches in the fridge or around the house, hiding in the shower to scare someone, but he's been taking it too far. Some examples of what he's done to me over the year are taking all my clothes from my drawer and hiding them all over the house so I can't find them in the morning. Putting whipped cream all the way inside my shoes so I can't see it until after I put them on. I'm lactose intolerant so one time he switched my almond milk out before I used it to make pancakes and it had me running all day. He apologized for that one because the whole family was mad at him and for a few weeks he stopped with the pranks. He says we'll laugh about it in the future but I don't really see that happening. Am I the asshole for what I told my dad after I got tired with his stupid pranks? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I've told him a million times to stop because all it's making me doing is not want to be around him. All this week I've had job interviews lined up since I'll be able to start working full time after I graduate in a couple of weeks. I bought a suit and tie to look more professional. Before I was leaving he asked me to help take the groceries out the car since he had to go to the bathroom. Instead he dropped a water balloon on me from the window when I was coming back in. For the first time I was ready to cuss him out and that's how mad it got me. He was laughing and recording it on his phone and told me not to get too mad because I could use one of his shirts for my interview. I told him this is why you're not going to hear from me in a couple of weeks when I move out and just think about that. He said that I was being dramatic but I still kept going. I told him to be ready to be blocked after I leave. Ever since then he's been serious. He's not even talking when we have breakfast and doesn't smile. My mom says that I hurt his feelings. Am I the asshole for leaving my boyfriend in Arizona after he pretended to push me over the Grand Canyon? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I just went to the Grand Canyon with my boyfriend. I'm 150% afraid of heights. Don't go near windows, railings, that type of scared. I guess you could say it's a phobia. Because of this, I didn't want to go in the first place. But it's a famous destination, so I figured it was worth facing my fears. I've had multiple conversations with my boyfriend about my fears. There's been in-depth conversations about how I was scared about having a panic attack around strangers. He assured me he'd help me maintain my distance from ledges and calm me down if I get overwhelmed or scared. We plan to do a tour then go out by ourselves in the following days. Well, on day one of the tour, we stopped at a lookout to take pictures and he decided it would be funny to grab me and pretend to try to push me over the edge of the cliff. I immediately freaked out and had a panic attack all in front of our group while the poor tour guide tried to calm me down. Am I the asshole for leaving my boyfriend in Arizona after he pretended to push me over the Grand Canyon? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I was sobbing and yelling that he was cruel for doing this. That he knew I was terrified and it was evil for him using that against me. He yelled back that it was a joke and I was taking it too seriously and to get over it because I was embarrassing him and myself. I told him he was a horrible person and his ex was right to leave him. He yelled that it was messed up to say. The tour guide separated us and took me back to their office. He wasn't in our hotel when I got my stuff and I got a flight to my parents. I've been staying here because we live together. I've been getting texts and calls from our mutual friends saying that I overreacted and calling me a psycho bitch. They're mad that I left him in Arizona but I don't think it was worth all the hate I'm getting. I left him the rental car hotel room and took an Uber to the airport and also left him a note saying that I was going to my parents. I feel like people don't understand.